Okay, I thought I'd do a uh, quick video showing how to set up the uh, Google Chromecast. Got a couple of them here, so I've got them hooked up to both of my TVs in the house. I also have uh, the Google Chromecast app installed on my Nexus 10. Probably the easiest way to get it installed, and it actually does see both of the Chromecasts on my, uh, on my uh, home network. Now over here at the TV, We have the Chromecast actually plugged in. I have it plugged into the extender, which apparently is supposed to increase the Wi-Fi range. So the extender plugs into the HDMI, and then the Chromecast is here. The USB cable is plugged into a USB port on the TV, and that's where it's getting its power from. So, pardon the mess, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Um, in order to do this, I need to know which of the Chromecasts I, I want to set up in the uh, living room and so I can look at my TV and it has this setup screen and it shows me that the setup name for this Chromecast is Chromecast 3251. So I can come back over here to my to my app and I can select 3251 and then we're gonna click the setup button and this little thing's gonna spin for a little while and it's actually awaiting instructions on the TV as you can see over here it's probably giving away some secret code that I'm not supposed to be showing anybody um, so I'm going to change the input to that, I see the code so I'm going to press I see the code and I'm going to call this uh, living room actually let's call this the family room Okay, let me hit set. And I'm going to set the camera down for a second uh, while I type in my Wi Fi password. Hang on one sec. Okay, I've now set the network. So I guess what the uh, Chromecast does is it sets itself up as a as a hotspot, which this app connects to, and then changes the or configures the Chromecast for the for the network uh, for the home network that you're connecting to. And we're going to finish the setup. And so that one, as you can see over here, is now ready to cast. So if I go back to uh, home screen here, and if I run, let's see, let's go ahead and find something. I'll run YouTube. It shows me that I can hit the Chromecast button. And let's go ahead and uh, show the world's 10 most dangerous airports. And let's uh, go ahead watch the ad for a second. And we'll skip the ad. And it's in HD. So I'll hit the Chromecast button and I'll select family room and it shows that it's connecting and we had the video. quality right now is starting to clear up a little bit. It's
I'm going to try a different video because we're not seeing the best quality from that one. Here, let's go ahead and play one of my own older videos, which wasn't actually run it, done it at HD, so let's see how that looks. Here we have, uh, yeah, quality seems okay HP, from a distance. Okay, so I have stopped the video that was broadcasting, and now my TV actually show, or the Chromecast actually shows that it's ready to cast. It has to be in that state, apparently, for the, uh, for the Chromecast on the browser, or probably any other Chromecast device, to see that it's available. Okay, sorry for all the jumping around, but I realized that uh, I was trying to run Chromecast in the web browser, on a Windows virtual machine that was running on my uh, MacBook Air and that wasn't working for some reason it wasn't seeing the Chromecast so now I have it set up um, now I'm just running the Mac natively and I have Hulu here running in Chrome browser and we'll go ahead and start a video and let's just pick uh, let's pick Jimmy Fallon here and we'll go ahead and uh, start the Chromecast and we'll we're at this time we're gonna to cast to the to the bedroom. And I'm getting out of focus for some reason. Not sure why. Okay. So sorry for it being out of focus there, but I'll go ahead and start the video. And I'll make it full screen. So it's playing on the uh, MacBook. We go ahead and switch to the TV. Uh, we can see that it's playing pretty nicely. I'm a little close to the to the screen, so it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit uh, lower quality. I gotta get away from it. So. Um, so this is Hulu playing on the Chromecast from the Chrome browser, so that works pretty well. We'd have to assume pretty much that uh, um, any other app like HBO Go or anything like that would work. In fact, let's go ahead and give that a try. Alright, I've got uh, HBO Go queued up here, so let's go ahead and just pick anything. And... Uh, Let's pick uh, Wolverine's first look here. Go ahead and play that title. And we'll set it for... Uh, full screen once it lets us do it here. There we go. There we go. Now I've got the uh, volume turned down this time so you can actually hear me. But if we look at the screen, it uh, is playing HBO Go. So, although HBO Go and the other native apps aren't yet supporting um, the Chromecast, I'm sure they will at some point, um, it does run. It's a little pixelated. I'm not sure if that's my network. Or if it's streaming down from Google, it's 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 clearing up as we go along as it as it buffers a little bit better. So it's a decent picture. Um, there's not any significant lag, and that works. So that's pretty good. All right, so that's a quick look at how to set up and configure the uh, Chromecast. Um, pretty simple. Took about five minutes to actually set it up and get everything running. Pardon me for uh, the horrible cinematography. I know that things were kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to get this out quickly so folks who get their Chromecasts can get them set up um, without any problems. Very easy process. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them, of course, in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.